Today we're going to tie up a squirmy wormy. Um, this is just a very simple pattern. However, the material is kind of tricky to work with. All right, I'm using a Daiichi at 1120. This is a San Juan worm hook. This is just a variation of a San Juan worm. I'm going to be tying it in a tan color today. Uh, you could tie it in, you know, pink. I have this beautiful pink. Tie it in purple. I think purple is kind of cool. And uh, I'm just using a 6 aught uni thread. You can use 8 aught if you wanted to. Uh, Vivas is a great thread to use as well. I'm just matching the color, uh, having a nice secure thread uh, base down here. If you wanted to, you could put a bead on here as well. I'm just kind of uh, working my thread back up just to really secure all that in. You could even glue that with some Zappa Gap if you wanted to. Um, all right, you'll notice I'm not crowding the hook because when I tie off this squirmy wormy, um, I got to have some space there because the stuff's kind of thick. And I'm going to take my thread down uh, just to about the barb, right where that hook bend really starts. And uh, I'm going to give my thread a good counterclockwise spin to really get it open and flossy because I don't want to cut this stuff. And give yourself some uh, material to work with, okay? Don't short yourself. This stuff, uh, you're gonna, we're going to be wrapping it around. This is just a very simple, squirmy, wormy pattern. Um, and I'm going to hold it right there. If you have too much like that, I know that's going to get in my way. Maybe just cut a little bit of that off to give yourself some working room. Um, happy summer, everybody. I hope you're out trout fishing, getting up to the high lakes. The snow's melting out. Okay, I'm doing a simple little pinch wrap right there. Loose. Come down once again. Pinch wrap. Very loose. And I'm even going to recommend one more. Don't get frustrated working with this stuff, okay? If you don't like it, cut it off. You'll see this has a tendency, this stuff really wants to walk on you. I'm going to kind of lightly tie it down and come in front. Uh, since I'm going to be turning this, I'm doing a half hitch at the front here just to lock it all in. And um, this is much like a San Juan worm. A little different. The material's, you know, squirmy, wormy. <laughs> Funny name. And then um, what I'm doing here, you can have the option of using your rotary if you want. I'm not going to. I'm just going to start working this with kind of some pressure coming towards the front and kind of pulling back. You'll notice how it just kind of starts giving itself natural segmentation and when I get to the front right about there is where I'm going to tie that off. This is a very simple pattern to tie. It's very effective. You'll notice I'm keeping my material up high. You really have to manipulate this stuff and you just have to give yourself time with this material uh, to learn to play with it. It's like a different type of dough, you know, if you're used to making white bread and all of a sudden you're making a hard wheat, you know, it's going to be a couple wraps right there in the front. Now, do not use glue on this stuff. Um, it dissolves the material. There's got to be some kind of oil or something in there that's obviously counteracting somehow and just melts it. You could try UV glues but um, I just do a nice whip finish right here and I'll do that three or four times twice A lot of action. This stuff is really effective. Um, you'll notice a lot of the Euro Nimpers and all those folks, they're using a lot of this, oftentimes with the tungsten bead, which, <clears throat> same fly, just put the tungsten bead there, guys. Uh, I tied this just to keep it simple in the simple series. If you have any questions, give us a call at the shop, but come on by. And uh, happy trout fishing. Enjoy your summer, guys. Be safe out there.